What in the bowels of the underworld is this? You knew about this, didn't you? You just lost your lunch. <sighs> Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today we are taking a break from the Canadian stores. We are going back, don't worry, but today we are in Bangor, Maine, going into this Spirit Halloween right here, which is in an abandoned bed, bath, and beyond the grave. Now, the thing about this is, well, first of all, I thought that I had filmed a spirit in this location before, in Bangor, Maine, but I have looked through all my videos and I do not see one. So this is going to be a first. The other thing is, is you see this store down here called Bob's Furniture that used to be a Toys R Us it was abandoned it then became a Spirit Halloween they closed down and then it became a Bob's Furniture and now the Spirit Halloween is here I like how you can still see the label scar from part of the sign for Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave the other really cool thing about this area Bangor Maine is that this is the hometown of Stephen King. Yes, Stephen King, the writer of It with Pennywise and Children of the Corn and Pet Cemetery, and so many others. So with that in mind, I know you guys love to see the animatronics first, but the first thing we are going to look at is the Pennywise stuff. Let's go ahead in and just see how this store is set up, because this looks to be a pretty enormous store. God, I love walking into a Spirit Halloween store. Look how huge it is. Oh my gosh, I already see some awesome animatronics over here along the wall. And holy crap, I can already see peeking through here other animatronics that I have not seen in other stores. You know what? We'll get to Pennywise in a minute. I'm too excited. I have to show you this stuff. All right, we're going to come back to the Carnival here too. I want to show you what's available for sale on the floor, starting with this stack of three light-up ghost faces. And over here, look at what we have, guys. Holy crap, we have an eternal rest. We have a straw man, we have a nozzles, and a death stalker. What an awesome little collection right there. None of those are from this year. All right, let's come on over to this side here because look what we have over here. First, we have a ringmaster. In fact, it kind of looks like, yes, we have two ringmasters here. Look who we have on top, Art the Clown, which nobody can seem to find anywhere already in the season. Look below him. They actually have a leather face down here from last year. And then on the top over here, we have a keeper. And I want to look at the price of this guy, $399.99, because I believe in the Canada stores, he was $479, which doesn't necessarily mean he costs more. It just means there's a conversion rate between the U.S. and Canada. And as an American with American dollars against Canadian dollars, the receipt would show $479 Canadian dollars, but if my math is correct, after the conversion, it would actually be like $364 American. So as an American with American dollars, you actually end up spending less on this in Canada. I know, weird, right? And I know that my friend Wally B26 just got the Terrifier Art the Clown animatronic. He's gonna be doing an unboxing very soon if he hasn't done it already, so bop on over to his channel and check that out. And let's move on over this way. Look at this, guys. We have a Mac straw right on the top. We have a giant death ray on the bottom. We have two demonic gatekeepers over here. Wait a minute, there's three demonic gatekeepers over here. Oh my gosh, this just gets better and better, guys. Look at this. We have a Michael Myers right here who I've only seen in a couple of stores, and look who we have down here. Buzzsaw. Holy crap, I cannot believe they have that guy right now. Hmm, small spooky season sign. They have two cremators here. They have a cauldron nest. They have all kinds of awesome animatronics in here, guys. This is totally blowing me away. Check this out. We have the groundbreaking worm on the bottom here. Oh my gosh, which way do I go? Look at this pile over here. We have two stilts, aka Papa Pins. And what in the world is going on over here? 
We've got a Heckles over here. We have two Slims. We've got two Punchies. Wait a minute, no, three Punchies. That's almost an entire plethora. And look at this. This Mr. Punchy is $209.98 on clearance, and this Heckles is $223.99. It doesn't say, wait a minute. No, it doesn't say why he's reduced, although promo code... 20% off. Wait a minute. That's a pretty sneaky way of making it look like a clearance animatronic. But still, Mr. Heckles, $223.99. You can't beat that. All right, let's go right behind them. Look at this. We have a black heart down here. We have a dagger mic. It appears that we have three dagger mics. Let's check it out. One, two, three. Yes, we have three dagger mics. We have two Gordos here. Three Emma lines on the bottom here. We have a spike. I've only seen him in, I think, one other store. And look at this. They have a whole plethora of howling spirits. I can see there is even more stuff back here, guys. This is a huge store and they are stocked. But first, check out all the tumblers they actually have in stock. And here is one that I don't think I have seen right here. Oh my gosh. It is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's crazy. That is very cool right there. Check that out. I don't even know if I've seen pictures of this online. And that is right between two Art Krispies tumblers. Those are pretty hard to find too. Although we've seen a bunch of them in Canada. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas up here. There's a whole plethora of those. And then on the bottom we have the Mars Attacks and Coraline. All right, let's make our way over here because I do see some more animatronics. All right, look at this. We got a Gravestone Ghoul down here. We have two Wanda Webworths, two Bobby Strings over here. And look at this. As I can hear them in the background, they have Emily and Victor. I think I have only seen Victor available in one other store on the floor to be purchased. They have three Emilys and one Victor. And right behind them we have three Barnaby Dares. All right, let's see back here. We got a couple of foam coffins. We have a couple of the 55 inch floor candelabras. Of course, we have the jumping spiders. What in the living world? is this thing. What in the living underworld is this thing? I have never seen this before. Holy crap. It is a zombie chupacabra. What the heck? I would not want to wake up in the middle of the night and see that thing on my bed staring me straight in the eyes. What in the underworld? They actually have three more back here. Did you guys know about this? Because I didn't know about this. These guys must have come straight from the bowels of heck. Look at that. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Actually, that could use a little bit of color in there. You could put some red in there between the ribs and the white ribs. That would be sweet. Guys, seriously, what the heck? I can't stop looking at it. What in the bowels of the underworld is this? You knew about this, didn't you? I'd be willing to bet. You just lost your lunch. <sighs> I am just completely mesmerized. I cannot believe this guy. Of course, we have plenty of carrot here. The secret keeping cats. We have the zombie squirrels and the hello rat. All right, this guy deserves some stickers up here. So does this guy, so does this guy, so does that guy. I do not see any scabs here, but I do see, holy crap, look at this. I haven't seen him in stores for a while. Billy Butcherson's head. I am an idiot if I don't buy this right now, but my wife is out in the car. Hmm, how could I sneak a head into the car? We also have the clown. We also have the hook head hog. I don't see the hook eye guy, but something over here stinks. Oh, it's these guys who need the Aquafresh. It's hilarious how I got completely sidetracked, guys. We've got the creepy crimson girls on swings. We've got the swinging witch. We've got the empty soul girls on the swing. We've even got the ghastly ghost girl on a swing. Did you know about the chupacabra? Oh my gosh, we got tons of ch talking Chuckies and Tiffany's. We've got tons of zombie babies over here, including the mini baby peekaboo clown. Are you gonna peekaboo me? Here he goes. <laughs> and look on the end here, guys. We have the awesome tiny terrors. We got a couple of ghost faces here. 
And we have Art the Clown, which has been so hard to find here in the States, but I saw a billion of them over there in Canada. And what is this one's name? I can't remember, because I always make so much fun of them. Hold on now. Scheming Sally, that's who that is. She just looks like she's sitting there looking at me like, I'm going to murder you. I just don't know how. Maybe after your grilled cheese. <laughs> I do like how they have three different Texas Chainsaw Massacre masks right here. We've got this one with the wire in his mouth. We've got this one. That's pretty cool. And then we've got this one here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. That hair is atrocious. Lots of Michael Myers and Freddy and Saw and Ghostface and Frankenstein and Jason Voorhees here with one eye. Look at this. I thought this was an older one. This one is from Jason Goes to Heck. Holy crap. What in the world? Another mask I have never, ever, 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 ever seen at Spirit. The Lord of the Rings Gollum. What the heck? Look at that hair. That is sick. <laughs> My precious. And look at this. Speaking of Pennywise, check it out. We have the original It Pennywise mask here. And look at this one here. I don't know if I've ever seen this one in a spirit store either. Why, hello, E.T. Look at the look on that guy's face. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that E.T. mask either. E.T. 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 Be good. Stephen King, Children of the Corn Knife. Yeah, look at that. That would be perfect on the wall in my movie room, right by an E.T. poster. Yeah, I'm getting that because I am certainly not getting this hound of heck. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely stocked with inflatables. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron. Right underneath those guys if you come in looking. Oh my gosh, they are stocked with Chuckies and Glens and Sams and Annabelles. Wait a minute, what in the world is this? The Monster Book of Monsters? I've never seen this before. It's a Harry Potter book. What the heck? You know what, I actually forgot that I already bought this E.T. here. So I think I am gonna put this one back. All right, I put the ET mask back and check this out. Hocus Pocus broom set. This is actually pretty cool. What the heck? Is it just a decoration, I guess? Man, they are just stocked with everything. Look at all the bobbleheads here. We have Michael Myers. We have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We have Ghost Face. We have Leatherface. Trick or Treat. The Exorcist. The Corpse Bride. And the Sam Articulated Statue. We've only seen these in a few stores. We got Leatherface and Chucky and Sam and Michael Myers and Ghostface and Gizmo. And look at this. The Halloween 2 statue, the Skella Pumpkin statue. That one's a hard one to find. We got the Beetlejuice Shrimp Hand Grabber here. Check that out. That is awesome. Yes, you saw that right. All right, right down here we got a Pennywise statue. We're just gonna pepper the Pennywise stuff in because I'm seeing too many cool things. That is pretty awesome right there. Here we go. Derry is calling. Do you have the courage to return? The movie It was set in a town called Derry. I think Derry actually exists, but the one in the movie was supposed to be Bangor, Maine. So technically it's just a made up town. Here we go. We got the Pennywise map. Mask light here. Pennywise snow globe. Let's get that going here a minute. Because that looks really cool. With Wait a minute, that wasn't good enough. Hold on. <laughs> Give it a better shake there. There we go. That looks awesome. It's so strange now having been in the Canadian stores and especially the one in Lingale where that sign was in French and I couldn't even read it. Well, I don't see the costumes yet, but I do see this shirt here. It hashtag hungry. All right, let's come back over this way here. Oh, look, we got a Pennywise bouncy pillow here. We got Pennywise plushies up here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. While we're here, let's go ahead and get Max Straw going. <laughs> Wait a minute, we have even more animatronics over here. Look at this. We have two man's possessed friend, we have two Cerberuses, and we have a scary sitting scarecrow on the end. All right, I spy buckets that need some stickers. Sticker, 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 sticker. Even the bullseyes, sticker sticker. Let's put the one in here. Let's put some in the Jack Skellingtons. Here's a couple here. Let's put some in the ghost face bags. 
one on the silver marshmallow. If you come in here looking for stickers, you're gonna have to look pretty hard because I am pretty sure there's this one employee walking around watching me and taking the stickers when I walk away. I guess he's not in the know. But oh yes, I see you, Mr. Sneaky. That's okay, I'll just be sneaky-er. I am allowed to do this after all. Here you go. Let's see how this tickles your fancy magnets under Mr. Frankenstein. There you go. Hocus Pocus books. All right, let's go on through the fun house of terror here, and then we'll check out all these animatronics in the row here. Will we smell cotton candy? Yes. All right, we're not going to run all these. We're just going to walk through and take a look at each and every one. Here we have Ghostface in this store. He has the bloody mask and the machete. Of course, we have the ringmaster, a.k.a. Shack Attack. Let's enter the carnival. Spin the wheel of fate. Where? Oh, there's no clicker on this one. Okay, well, wherever it lands, I guess I live. We've got the Dark Princess. We've got Towering Tallulah. What the heck? Does Towering Tallulah only have one arm? That's weird. And she looks like Gollum. Look at that hair. Sick. That is just very strange. I've got to get her going here. Come on, Tallulah. Was that the right thing there? Come on, Tallulah. Okay, maybe she's not going to work. She was just working. Maybe the sensor? Or maybe not. That is the most ragged Tallulah I've ever seen. One ring to rule them all. All right, we got the sitting scarecrow here. Oh, if there was anything in his bowl, it's already spilled out. All right, come on, sir. There we go. Just the regular sitting scarecrow in here. We got Art in the cremator here. We've got the giant death ray. We've already looked at Max Straw. Cotton Candy Dan. We've got Wanda Webworth. We've got Nibbles the Clown over here. We've got Barnaby the Bear. We've got Emily and Victor. And we've got Bobby Strings. But what the heck, he is like completely unhooked from his strings. Very strange. And one more thing, because we haven't looked at these collector's boxes very much at all. We've got Child's Play 2. These are supposed to look like VHS clamshell boxes. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Halloween 2. We got the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that's sliding off of there. We got Trick or Treat with Sam. Oh, they have a Terrifier one. That's pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I knew they had that one. And a Beetlejuice, the original Beetlejuice. All right, guys, that is it for the Spirit Halloween here in Bangor, Maine. Like I said, if you come down here looking for stickers, don't be surprised if you don't find them, because I'm about 99% sure that one dude was walking around just picking them up after I put them down. I did, however, put a lot in cups and buckets throughout the store. So if you come down here looking, make sure you check the trick-or-treat buckets and the coffee hot chocolate mugs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,